Um, how's Em doing? She was a late withdrawal this morning. Yeah. Oh, look, she's she's good. We've got that extra time for her now. Um, had, you know, it had been good this week, um, but we had that extra time for her. So, um, yeah, she'll continue that progress this week. How did, you, how did you assess the game? You started well and then obviously, <coughs> pardon me, they caught up near their end, they had a couple of super shots and mm. the, you couldn't quite regenerate that moment, early momentum. No, it, it is. And that has been a challenge for us across many games is being able to you know, generate that spark and generate that momentum. Um, it was costly for us, particularly in that second quarter. And I think we, we scored off one of eight gained ball and that could have been... So we ended up, I think it was 16, 10 down in that quarter, whereas if you score off those game balls, it's a different second quarter that can set a platform for the rest of the game. But we certainly didn't respond to a challenge. Um, really, disapp really disappointed. I've probably not been quite so disappointed. Um, and it's, it's not acceptable. Very unvixen like not acceptable. And, and it has to be... It has to change and it has to be different from here. You've got a bye week now. I mean, obviously the girls have to have some time off there. There's the certain things that you... Hey, you when you go, when you, play on, when you play on court like that, I don't reckon you need time off. Um, we saw Kelia a bit tonight late in the game mm. and then, um, we haven't seen much of Ruby over the last three weeks. Yeah. Um, what's the kind of outlook yeah. for that? Um, yeah, Ruby's there. We're still is, is working hard at training, and again, we've got as much match play as we can get across this two weeks to get her out there as much as possible, um, and really driving her to get out there on court. And Kalia, when she's in the game, looked at not. I mean, late in the game, she took a few shots, but kind of when she was on for her first inch, she didn't really look much like taking a shot. Was that kind of a deliberate play, or was that just no? Kind it's of not a deliberate play with a goaler. That's your job, as, as, you know, is, is putting up the shot. It's not a deliberate play, but you all want to be working hard to have two threats in the circle and to be, you know, two goalers that want to put up shots. Yeah, I mean, you've been a regular winner as both a player and a coach. How hard is it to kind of adjust? You know, it's it's hard, but it's hard, but it's just it's because it's just not it's not right. It's like it's just hard. It's not acceptable, and I don't think we're. Um, yeah, it's just really disappointing. But the, the thing is that we have to, it's up to us to change it and for it to be different. Um, yeah. Katie Ann competed really hard in the circle all night, really well. Mm. Um, what do you expect the defensive mix to look like with Em coming back? Um, oh, look, and I think with that, um, with Em back, it just gives us some um, flexibility and different options out there, which is a, is a strength of ours. But certainly KD, from the very start, was was contesting hard, which is what we'd ask for her. But along with the everybody, it did drop off. That was the game, that ability to push on, um, not there. Lots of turnovers um, tonight for both sides. Mm. Um, we saw kind of similar in the early game, uh, mm. lots of turnovers. Do you think there's anything particular about the arena or it was just the way the game's played out today? No, oh, I wouldn't, oh, good grief, wouldn't, wouldn't complain turnovers on an arena. No. <laughs> someone someone commented that, you know, it's oh, been, did they? that we had 55 nah. across Look, it's been, uh, I've, it's, that has been an issue for us generally is those turnovers, game balls and not scoring off them. And that's not about the arena, that's not about, that's about your teammates and the game and game smarts and that's the stuff that we've we've got to work on. Is there anything positive to take out of this game? Hmm. Look, you know what, I can't. I can't at the moment. And it is always hard straight after the game, but there's but there's nothing to feel positive about yeah. from that at all. Um no. And with the bye coming up, it takes some time and reset. What is kind of the plan and the outlook for the rest of the season? Um, we will. We've got to use this this bye period, this two weeks off, um, just to concentrate and work on what we need to as a group. Here, things have to turn around. Things have to be different, and it's not about talking about it, um, but it's the reality about what we are. What are the actions? What are we going to do? And when you say the things we need to work on. What sorts of things are those? Oh, look, I'd, 
as I mentioned before, is about those gained balls. But it's not that. It's not just the the technical part of it, but it's the mindset. It's the it's it's the fight. It's a fire. It's you don't we don't let vixens don't let leads blow out to 10, 15, 20 goals. It's not acceptable. So that's something about the mindset there that really has to change for us. Great.